Hello, my name's James and I'm a Senior Assistant Psychologist at Hampshire Cams. When you or your child are struggling, it is easy to lose yourself. Taking time out to enjoy a small pleasure can help you to recharge and make it easier to cope and help your child. One analogy often used when thinking about this is when on a plane, if the oxygen masks are to drop, we have to put ours on first and look after ourselves before helping our child or anyone else. We need to be in a place to support our child. Small pleasures are exactly what they sound like, little things that bring us pleasure. A bite-sized chunk of happiness might be just what you need to help make your day feel a little easier and to help you look after yourself in order to support your child. Each person will have their own small ways of finding pleasure. For some people, a quick coffee with a friend might be the answer, whereas for others, a walk in the park with their dog or even just sitting and listening to the birds might be the break they need. Small pleasures can be split into three types, social, hobbies and activities, and nature. A social pleasure might be doing something with a friend. A hobby might be baking, and nature might include walking or gardening, amongst many other actions. Some examples of each are given in the Parent Carer Manual, but there are many more ways of finding small pleasures. Many pleasures may overlap one another and many might contribute towards not only our immediate well-being but a long-term goal such as mastering a skill or getting fit. Small pleasures help you, helping you feel more connected, feel good about yourself and giving you time to relax and de-stress, emptying your stress cup which we refer to in the stress and coping section of the Parent Care Manual. They also provide a distraction from focusing on problems and allow you to reframe the way you see a problem, offering different potential solutions. Small pleasures also help your child as they give you more energy to help them, provide positive connected time with your child and may help them develop skills and overcome barriers. For example, when taking the dog for a walk, this may help them increase their social confidence. Small pleasures also enable us to model how they can help themselves feel a bit better. Try to identify a few things that are small pleasures for you. It will need to be small to be realistic and fit into your busy day. Do you have a hobby you like doing or something you used to do that you'd like to get back into? Maybe you like gardening. For some people, nurturing plants and seeing them thrive gives them a great uplift. Or perhaps you'd like to learn a new skill or sport. Sometimes even doing household chores can bring us pleasure giving us a precious few minutes to switch off our brains and a sense of achievement when they are complete. On the other hand, sometimes stretching our brain can be pleasurable. Crosswords and Sudoku puzzles, for example, can give us mini bursts of concentration, distracting us from the stress and busyness of everyday life for a moment. Or maybe a few minutes to have a cup of tea, put a candle on, or watching your favourite TV show is most pleasurable for you. Whatever brings you pleasure, make time in your daily schedule to enjoy it. Aim to start by treating yourself to one small pleasure every few days. As time goes on, you will hopefully find that you can incorporate one a day. You might find it helpful to keep a log or diary and reflect on which activities work best for you. So go on, treat yourself to a daily small pleasure and it will help you to help your child.